Uh, fancy teaching you Lua? Um, I mean, I certainly can, Mithy. I take it you saw my tweet then. I saw your tweet asking about Lua coding. I'm just like, um, hi, duh. Just like, it was like the only thing that came to mind. It was just like, uh, d um, apparently Mithy forgot about me. Damn it, Moon. Wait, where the fuck are you going? There was an opening. Oh! Oh, fuck. I suppose I have to deal with this one. Are you damn mutant? Have a good head. Have me randomly rolling. And apparently not being able to throw a grenade. Oh. Right, apparently I killed it. Shit. I really should find a goddamn campfire. I know there's over one in my rider. I know there's one in fucking town. I know there's a whole bunch of them all over the place. I just keep forgetting about the goddamn campfire. Uh, wait, you finished off Volcanoids completely? You only did it for two streams, didn't you? Well, I have plenty of wine that I can use to get health back, I guess. Uh, by the way, Mithy, the reason I actually know Lua is because of Tabletop Simulator. I'm forced to use that particular language when it uh, comes to scripting. So I've uh, had a lot more recent experience with Lua than I Only with structures would think like I would have, anyway. I also helped uh, tap with Lua stuff a long time ago, but I mean, it's, it's been a while at this point. Uh, let's see, do I... I'm just gonna go ahead and equip the grenades now. Hi, cannibal. Oh, you got a nice... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Fresh meat. Fresh uh -huh. meat. Yep. Cook? I mean, oh, yes. to we'll be fair, Hopkins... A few sprigs of scragweed and some cog root. I'll get you. Now, uh, to be fair, Hopkins, I do have like 100 pieces of raw meat if you're interested in meat. I mean, I, I do have meat options. Now. Shooting me, do you? Yeah. I'm a grenade. Mm. This is all the guy. Yeah, I'm on it. Jesus fucking shit. Uh, Lua. Oh, I'm sorry, Tough. Yeah, that's right. It was yeah, it was fucking right. That was my bad, Tough. Misremember there. It's been too long. <laughs> it's been way too long. Hi, Jack. Just give me a minute to calm down, will you? Calming. Calming. Whew. Shit. A moment longer and those cannibals would have had me over the fire. There's enough creatures out here trying to eat me without people trying it as well. Shit, shit. That's not something I want to go through again. Hell, you've not got anything to drink, have you? Something to help a man get his head screwed back on? Uh, sure, I have a beer. Uh, by the way, Mithy, before I actually saw this option. Uh, Mithy, what, what did you want to learn Lua for? Here, this should help. Ah, that's good. There's something about a near-death experience that makes everything taste golden. You saved me. I mean, you saved my life. And I've learned a lot about Magalan's history. But cannibals? <laughs> I haven't heard of anything like that since the dark days after the comet hit. Most of what we live on in Tavar is from the past. So history is profitable. Interesting, too. You should learn it. Or is only respawn in Volcanoids after an eruption, huh? 
That's actually interesting. On doing it that way. Uh, Lua is a code used in factory modes and mods in some Minecraft. Yeah, uh, computer craft uses a Lua. Uh, yeah, what the hell are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? The light beacon. I've always been fascinated by them. The light beacon? Used to be Lighthouse? A for help, or a way to give help, direction, guidance. I've seen leaders come and go in the fort, and there's only one constant. You have to rely on yourself. So, I look for ruins, visit the beacons, and I find things to earn shards, so I don't need anyone else. Hmm. So Factorio runs on Lua? Or uh, the Factorio mods run on Lua? Brave for someone at your age. My age? Ha! <laughs> age is bullshit. Wrinkled or smooth skinned, life he is pretty old. throws the same shit at you. I know these lands better than to come alone. I was traveling with a pair of scrap collectors. They needed a lead. I needed some help. On our way there, we got ambushed by a group of clerics. I didn't want a chance to fight with them. They were much better armed. So I got out of there. Really, Bethy? I, I, uh, I absolutely hate people like that. I mean, I get it. If you don't want others' ideas and something you created, fine. I get it. But, you know, still listen to them, because they might actually spark another idea for you to do... Uh, what happened, to the what happened to the scrap collectors? They didn't make the same choice. That's the problem with some people of their age. They think every fight is winnable. They think running away is the wrong thing to do. Yet, here I am at my age. I just wish I'd had their legs for running. The clerics caught up with me and took me prisoner. I'm here, aren't I? I waited until it was dark and I got out. I guess they thought I was too old to guard. And I got away with their leader's weapon. I think that must have made them angry. Now those clerics are out hunting for me. You can hear their horns. That's why I thought I'd head for the beacon. Get some scrap and get myself back to Tavar. Shards would mean safety. But you know what happened next? Damn reavers. Life sure is cheap out here. I see you, Matthew. Yeah, I hate people like that. Uh, I guess we have a lot of dialogue with him, by the way. Tell me about Magalan's past. Gladly. What would you like to know? Tell me about Tavar. Well, it might not seem like there's a lot of history here, but this place hasn't always been desert. When the comet hit, it turned this place into the wasteland you see, but not everything was destroyed. Thank you, by the way, Luke. Some building complexes, like the fort, survived. Others were buried. When the sand shifts, other buildings appear, and then all the things that were left in them are there for the taking. Not that everything that's buried is good. Logan, the Duke, as he's known today, they're sitting on a powder keg. Back before the comet hit, they stored weapons there. Serious, end-of-the-world weapons. And they're still there, somewhere, along with a whole stack of the usual kind. What kind of weapons? I know the history, not the science. I'm no cleric. But these things were supposed to destroy cities. They were supposed to destroy countries. How could they do that? I don't know. Big explosions. Big explosions. And the fort is sitting on top of them. That's why I want shards. I want to be a long way from here if those things ever go off. Uh, Luke, I actually don't see the emote now. And I don't just mean on Merc. Uh, I'm actually looking at chat now on Twitch. This is on my other monitor. And it's not there. It's just text. And apparently neither does Mythic. Tell me about the factions. Well, their recent history. I mean, they only came about after the comet hit. Before that, there were countries and governments. Millions of people organized into groups. Nothing like now. 
But the comet destroyed all that. There aren't really records from after the comet hit. No one was writing things down. They were just trying to survive. No leaders. All the things they relied on to survive had gone. But it didn't take long for people to form groups to get resources. And it didn't take long for those people to start fighting. All factions think they've got ways to save us. They're all just ways people are trying to survive. So, there are a lot of gaps in your knowledge of history? Well, some. There were more records kept during the Territory Wars. That was once the factions had formed and started fighting each other. I guess as soon as you're a group, you want to start keeping a history of who you are. History becomes more important. Anyway, instead of fighting over one or two tins, the factions started fighting over land. Elix. Resources. Any small factions that were left got absorbed or destroyed. I mean, these people were survivors. So you'd think that's what they'd want. To survive. Instead, there were yet more deaths. There aren't numbers, but I'd guess at least half of those still alive were killed. But that's just a guess. Finally, the people in charge realized the cost was too high. So they formed a council. The Great Council of Magellan and made a non-aggression treaty. Jack, you talk way too much. Uh, Luke, what happened to your remotes, by the way? Why, why is it just tax now? I know. Yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not seeing it. A non-aggression treaty? That doesn't seem to have worked. Well, peace is always fragile. The Berserkers and Clerics have totally different ideas about Elix and technology, for a star. But, after all the deaths, the factions knew they risked their own destruction if they fought anymore. So, the peace lasted, more or less. There are always some hotheads, some isolated clashes over resources. But the leaders brought their people back into line. All the factions rebuilt their lands, worked on their own roots. Jack, I was really hoping you would give me some additional information here that I haven't really already inferred or been told. Uh, recently there's the original ones to get the Xmas theme gone. You had an Xmas theme going? I, I had no idea. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen an actual emote in a very long time. So, what went wrong? The Alps. They were just a small splinter group. They went up into Zaycor, into the ice, and no groups were interested in that land. They built their strength, and then they invaded. The factions were taken still has the Christmas thing going? Surprise. The Alps captured people, land, built their converters before the factions could respond. What happened to the prisoners, the dead? History doesn't speak of that. Oh, if I could shed, Jack. At least you did listen. That's not always the case today. Ah, do I want to fucking continue listening to him? What was the reason, Luke? And like, I, I could understand if you had put the, uh, like, a Christmas theme in July, because Christmas in July. But. Why an extra month? What do you know about the Berserkers? They were a group living also, Jack, why woods, are you a living history book? Trying to grow their own food, and they evolved from there. Everyone else was fighting for what was left, ah, but they I decided see, to make something new. It was some guy called Amric that started them. Yep, heard about that. You guy they have there, Thorold, yep. the pilgrim, sees himself as some sort of spiritual successor to yep. Amric. He has changed things uh -huh. there. They're pushing out into the world more than they did. The berserkers used to stay in Edan mostly. They'd fight to protect their borders, make assaults outside them, and then pull back. Now they're holding ground. Yes, yes it they are. It seems the Pilgrim wants to purify all of Edam. They're going to use their world hearts to change the world. They want to use their magic to turn the clock back and make Magalan what it was. I, I really thought they that was going to say make Ma Magalan great again. But whether Magalan was ever like they say, that's just a fantasy. Oh, uh, it was actually a very brief history about the Berserkers. How much do you know about the clerics? Secretive lot. They probably know more about history than the others, but they keep it to themselves. Uh, I don't know about that, Jack. God they believe in. Kalan. I haven't seen anything anywhere about this god in records from before the comet hit. 
Why they've created a god and worship technology? Well, I can't understand it. Everything else they do is about knowledge and fact and observation. So why invent a lot of hocus pocus to go with it? Why did the clerics have so few men? The wars. They put their faith in their fighting machines. But either their prayers weren't answered or they had a technological hitch. They went into battle with the berserkers and their machines shut down. They were defeated. Heavy losses. Those left retreated into Ignadon. Anyone that didn't make it back was cut down by one faction or another. The clerics' numbers never recovered. I guess they must have fixed whatever the problem was with their fighting machines. It's never happened again. Give me the cleric's weapon. Why should I give it to you? You know what? Let's go with the first option. Because you're a survivor, and you don't want to get me pissed. All right, all right. I don't really need this thing anyway. I'll make you a trade. Oh? Some shards for me, a shiny cleric's weapon for you. How much? Uh, the clerics are after the weapon. It'll be much better to let me have it. Do I have the combat three? I the do. clerics are after that weapon. It would be much better to let me have it. The clerics are after this weapon. It would be much better to let you have it. What? You're right. I should just stick to hunting for scrap. Why does this sound like Here, it was a power of suggestion? Take the damn thing. Okay. Um. Is there something you need? No, no, I'm okay. Don't waste your time on my old bones. The only thing I'm interested in is stories. Oh. And <laughs> I don't think you are the storytelling type. Oh, Jack. What do you know about the elves? What do you know about the elves? Hardly anyone knows anything about them. I mean, other than about their attacks. Maybe I could tell you a story about them? Now I am curious. Do you know why they use Elix? It makes them stronger, of course. Greater strength, lower levels of fatigue, reduce pain. It turns men into fighting machines. And not just physically. Elix keeps them clear thinking. It removes the emotions that could get in the way of orders. So it means no one can argue with orders. It reduces the chances. That's one of the reasons Alps are so successful. They operate together without question. Yeah. Not all of them. Some operate alone. Ah, referring to the Separatists. Uh, sure. Then you've heard of the Elexiters. They rule in Zaycor. They still consume Elix, but they are given a command rule. You mean like Wardek and Kallax? Or Jax? Um, Have you heard of them? Yes. They are names to be feared. Though I had heard that Jax had disappeared. So the rumors say. What else do you know about Jack, the I am Jax. That they have as good as or better knowledge of technology than the clerics. That's because you and them have something in common. Me? Yeah, wait. What, what have I got in common with Alps? An interest in history. Ah. The Elexiters, well, I don't know for sure, but they have found some fragments of old world information. They're using that knowledge. They're interested in the old world? No, not at all. They just want the technology. Interest is emotional. Is interest emotional? The past is something that's gone. They want the future. Interesting. Not many people seem to think about what the Alps want. That's all I know. That was very informative. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Is it interest on an emotion? I'm now having to question that. And is questioning this also an emotion? You know what? Let's not go down this rabbit hole. How are you going to stay here? How long are you going to stay here? I think I will get comfortable here. Maybe I'll even get this light tower working. A man needs something to do in life. We're doing great. Okay, well, uh, that was that was a fun, fun dish dialogue talking to Jack. I'm gonna go ahead and loot all of the bones, apparently. Uh, 
and uh, toilet paper. And, ooh, a mug. Okay, that was... Why is there a sleeping bag on the bed? You know what? Whatever. Let's just sleep till morning. Or this weather. Offline! That's a stim. It looks like six. Oil lamp. Ooh, safe. And it's not even locked. Cool. Anything else? Anything else? I actually have nothing else to talk about, right? Yeah. Alright. Well. In that case, have fun with the, uh... Lighthouse, or whatever the hell you called it. I, on the other hand, am going to be returning to, uh, Volkmar. To return his weapon. Volkmar. You know, I still have yet to learn if the clerics know that Volkmar is actually out here fucking around with the outlaws. I assume someone does in the in uh, the horde, but no one's explicitly mentioned him. Uh, so, oh yeah, I spoke to the scrap iron as well. Forget about that. Did you convince him he doesn't have to worry about his shipment? Yes. Good, good. Then we can continue with the mission. Take this. In the name of Kalan. Oh, hail Kalan. Kalan, I your weapon whatever. Back. Then I am grateful, and Kalan will hear your words. You helped a brother and a comrade. I never. I'm sorry. What? Your comrade? This is for you. Comrade? Up to brother and a comrade. What? The fuck kind of pronunciation of comrade is that? I don't... Okay. Sure. Uh, Abessa, I'm gonna leave Abessa alone for now. Uh, Boulder from out to interfere with his duties, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, even wants to learn... Right. Let's head off to... To Don. We have... Uh, we have some stuff to do. Um, what kind of pronunciation? <laughs> I've heard some messed up pronunciations of words in this game. But, I think that just took the goddamn cake on that. Comrade? Comrade. Brother with a comrade. Just, I, I just don't. Uh, archive is over here. I advise you to step carefully. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we need to. Where the fuck? Where did he just go? Name added okay. to the access Dodd. list. That should get me in. What are you doing? Alt. State your business. Only officially authorized personnel may enter. I am allowed, Carl. How many times are you going to repeat that? Until you understand that only authorized personnel may enter. Um... Get out of the way. The archives are restricted. Why should I let you enter? Because I'm a cleric. Because I'm a cleric. I know I did the hack, but order. whatever. It seems you are authorized. Please enter, but I beg you, do not disturb the archivists. Remember, silence is a virtue. I don't think about the archivists. Another th uh, eh. Ray, I'm actually gonna have you stay here. Stay. Yeah. All right. Well. We are in. We are gonna be doing stuff. Like, not bothering the archivist. We got an archivist. There's one. 